So I'm fixing to freak my customers out. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic Up. Everybody's having a great week. No, this is not a clickbait video. I am telling you the truth. I am closing my shop. And for years now, three years, I've never said the name of my shop in my videos because I was always afraid that someone might go to my business page and leave bad reviews because they didn't like something that I said in a video. But guys, this is my shop, Lakeside Small Engine. Or I guess I can say, was my shop. Now, I know a lot of you don't come to my videos to hear me gab, so this is not going to be the video that you're going to want to watch because I got a lot to say. Now, I haven't wanted to say too much about it because I hate to be the bearer of bad news and I didn't want to freak my customers out, but I have to let everybody know. I also have to let you all know because I have so many people coming from all over the United States to come see me here. I don't want you to show up and me not be here. So we've spent the last couple weeks moving everything out. Um, it was days of moving parts. I made a video a while back saying I had 50,000 parts. No, I have hundreds of thousands of parts and I'm going to take you to the house to show you exactly where they're all at right now. It's a little crazy until we get it organized, but I know the big question you're wanting to know is why? So reason number one and the most important reason why we're shutting down our storefront is because I know all y'all see me in these videos and you don't know about all the other people that work at the shop, but my husband actually works on all the big stuff. I do all the two cycles, but when it comes to riders, zero turns, large, you know, concrete mixers, you know, large units on trucks, stuff like that, my husband does all that. And he has been hobbling around for two years needing a hip. Now the shop that we've been working out of is an old house that was built onto. So it's got stairs and slopes. And I know that probably 70% of my viewers are over the age of 55. A lot of you know about hip issues, so you can feel me. He has had a really hard time getting up and down all over here for the last two years. There's no large area to put a lift in for him to be able to get underneath the riders. So if he's got to fix something underneath, he's got to get down on the ground. And although we can still get down, it's hard to get back up. So if you've been watching my videos, you know we built a 40 by 50 shop out at the house. Everything's flat. It's super easy for him to work on stuff is because he can roll around. But the main thing is we've got to get him scheduled for a new hip. Now, the second reason we're closing is because of the building that we're in. We don't own the building. We've been renting it for 12 years and our landlords have been super amazing. We've had super great rent, but the fact is, is the building's really old and a lot of you have commented, why don't I fix anything out on front, make it more aesthetically pleasing? But the fact is, it would be like putting a band-aid on a gunshot wound. It's just not really going to help. This shop has been a repair shop since the 80s and it was built on multiple sections to an existing house that had probably been here for the last 80 years. Years. So it's definitely been well used. And the truth is with everything building up around here and the property values going up the way it is, I really just need to let them have their property back so they can do what they want with it. And the third reason is YouTube. Now this has become a crazy venture where we've got 337,000 of y'all watching and I have so much content to bring to you, but I am so busy at work that I have no time to film. So this is going to completely open me up to be able to bust out a ton of content to save you time, money, and frustration in the future. Now, although I feel extremely bad for my customers right now that they have nowhere to go over here, I don't see this as the end. I see this as the beginning because we probably are going to look for another storefront next year. I'm going to make sure whatever I do that it's going to be working around Chicanic so I make sure to have enough time to film content for y'all and we're going to plan all that after Ron gets healed up. So yeah, this is going to be a little crazy. Um, for the last 15 years since 2008, Ron and I have ran our own businesses and you don't get days off. You don't get vacations through most of the year. Um, Ron blew two discs out and I found him on the ground out back underneath a rider and he was back at work in five days. You know, get COVID and you're back at work in a few days. Um, this is going to be different for sure. And the thing about it is, is the only thing that has afforded me this opportunity to be able to step back and do this and make this huge life change is you, YouTube. Every single one of you that watch my videos and share them and comment and like, you are the reason that I'm able to do this. 
Every time I make a video and you tell me, oh my gosh, thank you so much for helping me fix my machine, or thank you so much for letting me know how to save money, time, frustration, that is what I strive for. So yes, we're closed. It's so weird to say that. I am gonna freak out my customers so bad the next time they try to come get anything while I'm making this video. I've had to stop it like 10 times because I've had customers come up and just disappoint every single one of them. So we're gonna work really hard this winter getting Ron much better. Once we get that done, we're gonna see what next year brings, but what does that mean for this winter? From now on, you've got to put up with me a lot of chicanic because I have so much content I am ready to make. Without further ado, uh, this place is bare. There's nothing to show you here anymore. I might as well take you on home and show you my house shop and my extremely chaotic mess. So like I said, bear with me guys, it's a little crazy in here. We have just had to pile everything in where we can find a spot. Right now we're keeping everything away from the walls because the guy's coming in about a week and a half to frame out and put walls up everywhere and also start to frame the loft area. This uh, corner over here is where I'm gonna be doing the chicanic stuff. So I'm gonna have a loft above that. But check this out, guys. This is all of my Briggs steel Kohler parts. I mean, Stuff that, you know, I, I, I go through quite often. Ran out of shelves. I've got a bunch of blades. We've got tons of boxes in here. Oh, I just, I don't even know where I'm gonna store all these parts. Tons of belts. Coming this way, we had leftover bar and chain oil and 30 weight that, you know, we have nowhere to put right now. So got to find a shelf for that. We got to buy a lot more shelves is what I figured out. So we've just sort of been sticking everything everywhere. Got a bunch of our car stuff over here in the corner and it's going to be a lot of organizing, guys. But really, this isn't the uh, most chaotic part of it. This is our old shop. Much smaller. I think it's 13 by 16 that we turned into the pull house. Well, when you gotta store parts, you gotta find somewhere to stick them. So, we loaded them in, guys. We have over 40 black tubs full of loose parts. All of those are still actually organized in sections of McCullough, Home Light, Johnson Red, Tanaka. I mean, everything you can possibly think of. Most of these parts are at least 20 to 30 years old and I, no one is going to appreciate them as I am. So I, I just can't throw them away. I can't give them away. I've got to hold on to them. I think I'm going to start some kind of store through my um, chicanic.com and be able to get, you know, very unique antique parts to people that need them. Hopefully I can figure something out like that because guys, I got a lot of parts. And then we find some random stuff like this Marvel Ziploc bag from 1996 with one miscellaneous piston ring in it. Okay. These are all chainsaw sprockets. Like, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all these. They fit every old saw in the world and pretty much nothing new. Maybe there's a buyer for them somewhere. We'll see. So although I am going to be buying more area to store everything right now, I just gotta stick it where I can. A lot of this stuff is worth fixing. We're gonna be working hard all winter long to get this stuff repaired. Brought a bunch of walk behinds home. And let me take you around the back. Get it all hidden behind the shop so my neighbors don't think I'm a hoarder or anything, <laughs> even though they really can't see up here. But I have so much equipment. I got to get this all tarped up. I just have nowhere to stick it right now. But this is like a um, 40 foot long tarp and it is completely full of two cycles. Like from one end to the other is full of two cycles. So yeah, guys, we're going to be making a few trash to treasure videos. Yeah, so as embarrassing as my organized chaos mess is right now, I wanted to let y'all in on what's going on with me. I'm definitely going to be working hard on it over the next couple months to get this all straightened out while I'm making y'all a ton of content.
Also, don't forget, next week I'm going to be in Louisville, Kentucky for the Equipment Expo. I will be at the Husqvarna booth on October 19th, this coming Thursday at 1230. So if y'all are there, come by and say hi. So thanks again for tuning into Chicanic. Hopefully my next video will save you time, money, and frustration. If you haven't found me at Facebook, find me at facebook.com slash Chicanic. Find me on Instagram at The Real Chicanic or find me at Chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.